Breaking news in the last few minutes. NASA's engineers have recommended to the flight director that the Artemis One moon mission should be cancelled. It had been due to launch in just under three hours, two and a half hours. If the launch is cancelled, it'll be the second time it was cancelled. Remember on Monday, they scrubbed it. They didn't cancel it, they postponed it. Then they were looking to, obviously today, there was a two hour launch window from about 7.17 our time, so in about two and a half hours. And it was meant to launch then, but we're hearing that the launch crew have said that they recommend a no-go decision. This is a tweet from um, NASA. That's the latest from them. Let me get this up here so I can read it. So, during tanking of the Artemis I mission, so that's the, um, the first of these Artemis rockets that are meant to go to the moon, um, a leak developed in the supply side of the eight-inch quick disconnect while attempting to transfer fuel to the rocket. Attempts to fix it so far have been unsuccessful. Stand by for updates. So that's basically what we're doing. We're standing by. That was 37 minutes ago. These are live picks. So let me talk you through um, what's happened. Basically, as the launch team started fueling this rocket for liftoff, it's a test flight, remember. No astronauts are on board, so they've got to get this right before they put astronauts on. This is Artemis 1. Artemis 2 will have astronauts. Artemis 3 will take astronauts to the moon. But this, Artemis 1, going up round the moon and back. It sprang um, another hazardous leak on Saturday as they began fueling it for liftoff. This is the second attempt now. Second time this week, they started loading nearly a million gallons of fuel into this, this 98 meter rocket. That's 322 feet. It's the most powerful ever built by NASA. Monday, you'll remember that was scrubbed. That's the term they use, no go. Monday's attempt was halted. It was a bad engine sensor and then leaking fuel as well. Now, as the sun came up in Florida today, an overpressure alarm sounded and the tanking operation, it was briefly halted, but no damage happened and so they started fueling again. Minutes later, however, hydrogen fuel started leaking from the engine section at the bottom of the rocket. They stopped the operation, engineers scrambled, they tried to plug what they believe is a gap around a seal. Um, and then obviously countdown clocks ticking because they have a specific window, two hour window, two hours on Saturday to get it ready. Um, and we are waiting now to see if they've managed to deal with that leaky seal. Um, this is the moment, a little earlier, when the team realized that something was wrong. Got an update on the liquid hydrogen loading. They are in stop flow at the moment. There was a leak detected in the engine cavity. Went up to 8%. That put it in automatic revert for the liquid hydrogen flow. Rockets in a safe configuration. Looking at the path forward. Okay, let's go to Martha Kellner. Hi, Martha, you're with us. Martha's on Cocoa Beach. She's at, um, in Cape Canaveral in Florida. And Martha, what are we hearing? Yeah, there's hundreds of people here on Cocoa Beach in Cape Canaveral. There's also people lining the roadsides and the waterways across this part of Florida, hoping uh, to see, you might be able to see just over my right shoulder, the NASA headquarters is there. That's where the launch pad of Artemis 1 is. These people are likely, though, to be disappointed in the coming minutes. It does seem like NASA is poised to once again cancel this scheduled launch of the Artemis 1 rocket. They have a launch window between 2.17 um, and 4.17 local time for this rocket to take off. But we have been told that there is a hydrogen leak in an area inside the rocket that is difficult to access from the launch pad. So it seems like there's going to be a lot of disappointed people here once again. There was a launch scheduled for earlier this week on Monday, which was also called off um, because of problems on that occasion, calling uh, one of the rocket's four engines. Um, so NASA trying desperately to, to try and rescue this launch window, but ho hopes are fading fast. They have around uh, 20 minutes uh, left in this particular, to, to know whether this window is at all likely, but it does seem that it might be about to be called off once again. 
that means that they will then look at another launch window on Tuesday. They may be able to get the rocket away then. If that's not possible, if they're not able to, to sufficiently fix this hydrogen leak in one of the engines, the rocket will then go into what is effectively a, a large garage for rockets to undergo further repairs. That means an, a potential future launch will be delayed for a month or more. Now, this particular launch, the launch of Artemis 1, uh, is uncrewed. That means that there's no actual human beings going up in, in this rocket. Uh, instead, there are four mannequins that are strapped inside this rocket. They have sensors all over them which will, will test the pressure. And the idea is uh, that this rocket, which is the most powerful rocket ever launched from Earth, uh, will do rotations of the moon. It'll go as close as 60 miles to the moon's surface and it will beam images uh, of craters on the moon uh, back to Earth. There will then be around um, a two-year gap before a crewed mission uh, would go up to, to do this similar journey of, of rotations around the Earth. And then by around 2025, the engineers behind Artemis 1 hope that people will be able to land on the moon for the first time in five years. But it does seem like uh, another delay is about to hit this scheduled mission. We're waiting to hear for the, fi for, for the final decision from NASA on this launch window this afternoon.